with head coach Nick Bootlin. Nick, 4-2 loss tonight against Gwinnett. Uh, uh, plenty of chances down the stretch. Uh, you know, Mike Lee played on his head tonight, uh, coming up with some big saves, four breakaway chances, but really unable to get anything by the the, the former draft pick of the uh, Phoenix Coyotes. Well, he obviously played an outstanding game for them tonight and gave them a great opportunity to win the game. We had we had lots of scoring chances. You know, I felt the turning point was probably the three-one goal. Um, you know, I felt we had lots of pressure or sustained pressure for about eight or nine minutes to start that second period. And um, you know, at the end of that power play, they come out and. The, Get a fortunate bounce off a rebound, and the guy whacks it from the corner and finds a way to get into our net. So, you know, 3 1, we certainly didn't quit. We didn't, sh we didn't sh show that uh, we were going to go away. We knew that we played them again um, today, um, short staffed as we've ever been, and the guys competed hard today. 158 points is what's total out of your lineup tonight. Uh, when you look at uh, uh, the depletion out there, you needed someone to step up, and two guys that you just recently called up from the Central Hockey League, uh, both guys from Western Michigan, able to find the net tonight with uh, Brian Bicey getting the first goal and then uh, trying them out to come back, Jeff Pierce on the power play. Yeah, I mean, those guys uh, worked hard tonight. You, know, you could tell that uh, Bicey's legs were uh, underneath him tonight, and um, he was skating a lot better than he was in the first game, and then sort of that open ice and that bigger surface helps him out a little bit there. And You know, I, I mean, there's numerous guys that stepped up. I mean, you look at Dustin Kluche, who played defense for the first time in pro hockey. Um, he went back there and did a great job for us tonight. He moved the puck, he used his, heads, used his head and his smarts with his speed and, and broke out of the zone and made things easy. And, um, you know, to have the guys suck it up the way they did and battle and compete as hard as they did, certainly proud of the effort, obviously still not happy with the result. Not happy with the result, but you get a chance to uh, avenge it tomorrow right back here at the Arena at Gwinnett Center against the Gladiators. Played two guys short tonight, and at times with penalties, actually up to, up to four guys short. Any chance to try to get those numbers back to even? Yeah, we're working on it. We're working on trying to have someone in place here for tomorrow, and um, you know we'll see what the rest of the week brings. But uh, right now, we're just trying to focus on the next, uh, not even less than 24 hours. Uh, we have an opportunity to come back at them, and we knew that uh, that's why we kept coming at them in the third period. We knew we we're going to get them again for uh, three more periods today or tomorrow, and we wanted to make sure we took advantage of that.